Hello everybody, welcome back to Calmsden. We are in the midst of Winster here. It is January, it is cold, it's 9.24 in the morning, uh, and we are pushing on from where you last left us on Wednesday night when we had our multiplayer uh, game with Dazed uh, on the live stream. And we are just finishing off the potatoes in this field. I'm taking the tops off here. We still have well over half a field to go of potatoes. Uh, and really the only thing we've got going for us at the moment um, it is too cold really to do much else um, we have got a couple of other fields though which we could lime um, and what I'm going to do is use this massy tractor to get some of that work done uh, and we'll keep popping back here and getting the potatoes once there's a full load we'll get a load notification but uh, yes in the interim we probably need to prep some of the fields before um, planting season starts let me show you where we are in just a little minute we'll get to the top of the road here and I'll jump in and have a look at the menus and I'll show you what our plan is we are running seasons on this one um, just for a bit of a change it's something I've not really explored in too much detail yet because I've been uh, just trying to put content out and uh, try different things so I thought I'd use this opportunity to uh, properly run a full season in FS22 for the first time Okay, looking at our crop calendar, our planting seasons really kick in in March. So we've got a couple of months with not much to do. So we will uh, get the fields prepped in that time. We'll get them cultivated. We'll get the uh, the lime on them. And uh, we'll get them all ready. There is a rogue field of wheat here. I think probably a leftover from when I was setting up the map. Uh, but we'll just leave that. That will go to withered. And then uh, we don't own the field anyway. So nothing to do with us. Um, but yes, we'll head home. It's the first time I've really experienced snow as well in 22 since I started, so that's going to be fun. But if we head back to the farm with this, uh, we'll go and get the cultivator into one of our other fields. Again, um, I, I'm really struggling to not want to spend more and more time on calms, and it's such a lovely, lovely map that uh, it, it's really, really enjoyable. Um, I know some people don't like the narrow lanes, but they are in keeping with this part of the world, so that's where we are with things. So we'll head back down the road here, and we will pop this topper back in the yard, because we're not going to need that again till the next time we do potatoes, which I have to say has been brilliant fun. Oh, somebody's built a snowman there, I don't know where they got all that snow from. But if we roll up here to the main farm should have some space to unload this now we have been shopping and set ourselves up with a good few bits of kit let's let's drop this in this shed here I was going to put it in the in the other shed over there but uh, let's just drop it in here um, yeah we've been shopping I'll take you on a little tour in just a second after we've unloaded this and no I haven't washed it yet uh, one thing we don't own yet is a pressure washer, but I will... In fact, that's not going in that shed. It's too um, low. Which just gives you an idea for the kind of... Uh, size of kit you should be using on this farm. I'm probably a little bit on the large side with some of this stuff, but... There we go. Let's drop that down there. And unhitch it. We will roll back over here and have a look in the shed. Now, we will get some animals at some point as well. Keen to do that. Um, we've got a load all there as well. But if I just jump out here, just have a wander around. We've got ourselves some big bags there of lime. We've got our uh, lime spreader here. Uh, a nice cedar as well for when the time comes. Uh, our seeds have been delivered as well and some dry fertiliser so uh, lots and lots of supplies here which is great um, and we will get this hooked up and take it for a bit of uh, lime spraying in a little while um, but for now we're going to hook up the cultivator and we are going to go and sort a couple of fields out. So just along here somewhere in a classic British farm style there should be it's actually a power a power harrow rather than a cultivator but yes sitting in the long grass there is the power harrow so we'll grab that we have got field six here which is ours 
uh, which is ready to be cultivated. And again, field 23 there, which is again being harvested. So as we're here, there's a lot of crop left at the edges. That wasn't us. Um, we'll probably jump into field six. So let's just get this out of here round to here and um, let's do a bit of cultivating okay here we are now do we have a plan as yet for how we're gonna manage this series no is the quick answer I thought we would just kind of see where things t took us over the next wee while uh, definitely like to get some animals here though that's that's one for sure um, and also you know just run a full season a little bit of variety in there do some different things just enjoy ourselves on this absolutely gorgeous map so uh, let's crack on with this for a little while see how far we get on we might need to jump back every now and again and check the potatoes make sure that we're uh, keeping that process running it's quite hands-on that but we did cover a lot of it the other day which is great um, so we will uh, report back in a little while Okay, things look like they were running well in the field there so we're taking this opportunity to go and grab a top up of the potatoes that are in the harvester we want to keep that running as well as we can now we don't have anybody stacking today so I might have to juggle all three jobs at once let's just pull out of the field to let us load up I think so let's just roll under here and unload these. It's not a full load from the harvester but there's a good amount here, 70 odd percent. So that'll do nicely. There we go. Nicely done. Okay. He's going back to the top of the field I think. We'll run these to the shed and we will throw them in the sorter. For those of you who have maybe missed um, the live stream and the first episode that I did on Calmston, we are going to uh, give you a little tour of this potato seed potato shed that has been created by Dazed. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I strongly recommend going and watching my last live stream where he was uh, on with us, uh, talking through the mod and what it can do. Very, very interesting stuff, um, but we will unload here. And what you do is tip your standard potatoes into here. He's created a modded version of this, which then unloads them into the sorter here. As you can see, um, you get three different types of potato out, uh, identified by the size of them there. 45 plus is now premium potatoes. 35 to 45 is seed potatoes, which you can use in your planters again when you plant potatoes. And minus 35 are your waste potatoes. Now, down here, you have also three very large refrigerated units where you can store your potatoes keep them fresh we have got premiums in the first one we have got seed in here and we're not using the third one at the moment because out here is where our waste potatoes are going um you can sell them all but obviously uh, the waste potatoes you get a lot less money than you do for the premium 
uh, and again a seed are somewhere in the middle. So um, we've got some loading up to do as well so what we'll do we'll jump in the forklift for a little while load up some of these. So we are in the forklift truck now I'm gonna try and grab this set of uh, premiums load these on top of the other box that I've got here as well. Now one of the things is uh, with this forklift that you can't stack more than three high I think so you've got to do a little bit of uh, pre-stacking before you take them into the, the refrigerated units but we'll drop them on like so we should be able to run them now into the refrigerated unit with no hassle and as you can see the next box is already spawned spawned ideally you want to be doing this with two of you if you can or if you want to just take your time and stack them gradually you can do it that way but what we'll do is we'll do two and two I don't think we're going to go five high we have got one five high there uh, but we might just leave them at four high apparently in real life that is as high as you can go anyway due to the weight of them these are two ton boxes so um, quite a lot of weight in them let's get them lined up here and there we go and as I think I've already touched on in the live stream the physics are so much better in 22 I know we've had a few people saying they're not but uh, my experience is far from that so what have we got now uh, 45 plus again so let's move them out of the way in terms of uh, the volumes they spawn premium are probably what you get the most of well they are uh, what you get the most of then it's seed and then finally it's your wastes so those out of the way there drop them against the wall we'll get these wastes outside as well it's quite tight in here not not unmanageably tight but I have been battering that wall a few times uh, but there we go let's lift them away from the unit a little bit before we do any more damage there we go these just get ran outside doesn't really matter what happens to these so We'll probably pop these into the truck at some point and uh, just take them down to the shop and sell them at our convenience. Oh look, the snow has stopped. Oh no, it hasn't. Thought for a second it had stopped. So like I said, I'll know these outside. These will go in the Arctic truck at some point. But for now, we will just unload them there. Dazed has said that he's going to potentially look at how we can utilize those waste potatoes better uh, in the pack that comes out when it comes out uh, it will have the option to sell the waste potatoes to the BGA so they don't necessarily go completely to waste Let's just roll under here now we have cleared the excess but this is turned off so we want to turn it back on because we've got more potatoes in there so there we go we should see some more pallets arriving very soon we'll put these here because again we'll pre-stack before we send them into the refrigerated units but uh, for now it looks like we are all caught up, he says, as the spawn pallet arrives straight away. Right, that's another 35 to 45, so we'll put those into the uh, seed potato area. And we will go and uh, check back how the cultivator's doing, and also how the uh, potato harvester is doing. There we go, right. Like I said, we will now push on and go and see what everything else is happening and we will maybe come back here in a little while. So we've just jumped back here and our potato harvester has moved over to the other part of the field so he is now starting to harvest 
what's left on the side of the field and he's just sorting himself out with his uh, uh, approach so we'll leave him to it he's looking good we'll check back every now and again uh, and we'll jump back over and see how the cultivator's doing here we go the Massey's doing well here start to cover this field relatively quickly actually which is nice to see um, making good progress there are some uh, stones on this field they look small so I'm kind of hoping we're going to be able to roll these under. They don't need to be uh, picked up necessarily. But we can make a, a decision a little bit further down the line. I think the next stage for this field is to lime it. Uh, and we have all the stuff ready to do that. So as soon as he's finished here, we will uh, get the lime spreader out. And we will jump straight back into this field and get it limed. We'll also uh, have a look at uh, doing field 23, which is our other field, waiting to be... Uh, cultivated as well so we can uh, make sure that uh, we get as much done as we can um, we are going to have a little bit of downtime but uh, that's understandable through the winter so uh, we will um, try and get as much done as we possibly can and then it's all systems go in spring when hopefully the weather picks up so with all the machinery running well and time on our side, we are going to leave it there for this episode. Thank you very much as always for watching and I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.